Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday the 21st of May. India and Pakistan observe day of mourning for Iran President Ibrahim Rahisi. Sri Lanka pledges to safeguard India's security, address concerns over Chinese vessels. And Afghan businesswomen feel the squeeze under Taliban restrictions. And now for all the details. India and Pakistan observed a day of mourning as a mark of respect to the Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, who died in a helicopter crash on Sunday. The char wreckage of the helicopter was also carrying Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abidullian and six other passengers. India's national flag was seen at half-mast at the Indian Parliament and Presidential Palace and Government buildings. Similarly, in Pakistan, Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif visited the Iranian embassy in Islamabad to offer condolences to Ambassador Raza Amiri Mugaddam. Pakistan also half masked the country's flag as a mark of respect to the dead. Pakistani locals also expressed condolences and described Raisi's death as a great loss. Raisi had been tipped as a potential successor to the supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei. ईरानी सदर की बेवक्त मौत से हमें बड़ा नुकसान पहुंचा है इस्लामी दुनिया को नुकसान पहुंचेगा बिल्कुल खुद पाकिस्तान अभी वो वाहली में आए और बेशुमार महादेव हुए थे जिससे तिजारती राहें खुलने की उम्मीद थी मगर जाहिर सी बात है उनकी मौत के बाद वो सिलसिला बरकरार नहीं रखा जा सकेगा लिहाजा मैं समझता हूँ ये सिर्फ ईरान का नहीं बल्कि इस्लामी दुनिया का एक नुकसान है और अजीम नुकसान है India on Monday arrested four Sri Lankan nationals suspected to be operatives of the Islamic State militant group from Western Ahmedabad city. The four accused have been identified as Muhammad Nusrat, Muhammad Faris, Muhammad Nafra and Muhammad Razdeen, all citizens and residents of Sri Lanka. They were allegedly plotting to carry out terror attacks at the behest of Pakistan-based handler. In a statement, a top Gujarat police official said the apprehended Lankan nationals were completely radicalized by the ISIS ideology. He added the individuals had members of BJP and its parent organization RSS on target and also wanted to teach a lesson to Jews and Christians for committing atrocities against Muslims. The arrest come days ahead of the high-profile sporting events in the city and amid the gigantic elections in the country. And Sri Lanka on Monday affirmed its commitment to safeguard India's national security and said Colombo, as a responsible neighbour, will not let anybody harm India's security. Addressing concerns regarding visit of China's research vessels in Sri Lanka, Foreign Minister Ali Sabri said that the island nation would like to work with other countries in a transparent manner but not at the cost of others. Last year, India had expressed its security concerns over the docking of the vessel at the Sri Lankan port as it was shown as a research vessel with the capability of mapping the ocean bed, which is critical to anti-submarine operations in the Chinese Navy. Moving on, activists in POJK have lambasted the Stooge authorities in the occupied region for mishandling the ongoing crisis, which led to violent clashes during a protest earlier this month, a report. Political activists in Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir have lambasted the Prime Minister of POJK, Anwar ul Haq, for mishandling the crisis in the region after at least three people and a police official were killed during protests earlier this month. An alliance of civil rights group called off their protests following several days of turmoil after Pakistan PM Shehbaz Sharif approved a grant of 24 billion rupees to help meet most of their demands, which included subsidies on flour and electricity prices. Activist Raja Amin said it would have been better if these issues had been resolved earlier. The 
अड़तालीस अशिया यू एन ओ में सब्सिडी दी गई उन की बात थी कि बिजली हमें हमारी कास्ट है यानी कि बिजली रियासत की मलकियत है वो वो दो रुपये उनसठ पैसे कास्ट बनती है और हमें वापसी पे पचास साठ रुपये की यूनिट बन रही थी इस पे बात की गई जो मतनाज़ा बात ना थी तो लोगों के हकूक़ की बात थी जिस पे बात की गई तो इस मौजूदा वजी अजम ये जो नाम नहाज वजर अजम अनवरक बैठा है इसने इसको मिस हैंडल किया और लोगों से झूठ बोला झूठ बोल के उसने इससे पहले दो बार माहे किए लोकल सिंध पी ओ जे के से दे आर फेड अप ऑफ पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट एंड दूज अथॉरिटीज इन द रीजन विच आर ओनली देयर टू फिल देयर ट्रेजरीज थ्रू हैवी टैक्सेज वाइल दे कंटिन्यू टू सफर फॉर इवन बेसिक अम्यूनिटीज मूविंग ऑन while the afghan economy has continued to deteriorate female led businesses are facing a series of problems accessing capital and markets while facing restrictions by the taliban a report when the taliban took power in 2021 veteran ngo worker forazan kohistani lost her job and had to look for another career she eventually found herself starting her own business a cake factory which she had hoped would provide a much needed lifeline for afghan women who were unable to find work under the restrictions imposed by the new taliban regime taking out a loan of 350000 afghanis kohistani was able to build up her factory's production and hire 15 women and 5 men in 2022 in the beginning they made around 100000 afghanis per month but with the economy deteriorating after just one year the monthly income decreased by 50% and kohistani's business is now on the verge of bankruptcy agayi falon ma war shikas chavim sukut kona pish bardish na tanim daga ich kodam ra nadarim juz namidi juz enami ke do char afsar zagi shavim do char marizi shavim emi dokhtar khanum ma yagona umeed shon ami jaz ke miyan kar mikonan اینا شاید دو چهار بسیار افسردگی شوند چهار مریضی های شوند که دست به گدایی بزنند بعضیشان کوهستانی tried to apply for another loan two months ago but got rejected by the bank because she is still paying off the previous one her employees are worried closing of the factory would leave them with no other option but to beg خو اول خو نباید با ما وظیفه خود را دست بدیم به خاطر که اگر ما وظیفه خود را دست بدیم و خانه بشینیم چی کار کنیم دیگه بعضی خانم ها هست که تا فامیلشان مثلا پدر ندارن بیادرشان نیست یا خود می دختر خانم ها یا چی خانم ها باشه خودشان ناناور خانه می باشن دیگه برای زیاد مشکل جدی خلق میشه مجبور هستن اینا گدایی کنن دی طالبان هاف نات فورملی بان ویمن فرام ورک but have barred many female aid workers shuttered beauty salons and limited women's movement and work in many institutions without a male guardian that has caused female formal employment already low even before the taliban took over in 2021 to plummet however some female entrepreneurship has continued and some taliban officials including the commerce minister have said their administration wants to support female businesses many of which employ women in carpet weaving handicrafts dried fruit and saffron production the united states on monday announced sanctions against former bangladesh army chief general aziz ahmed and his family members as it accused aziz of undermining bangladesh democratic institutions In a statement issued late on Monday evening, US State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said Ahmed was engaged in significant corruption by interfering in public processes while helping his brother evade accountability for criminal activity in Bangladesh. This designation reaffirms the US commitment to strengthening democratic institutions and rule of law in Bangladesh, he added. Reacting to the sanction, Bangladesh Foreign Minister Hassan Mahmood has said the country's diplomatic mission in US were made aware of the curb against the former army chief and added that the ban of his entry was not made under the new visa policy Aziz Ahmed served as army chief from 2018 till his retirement in 2021 a report by media outlet Al Jazeera had alleged Ahmed used his authority to shield his brother three of whom were convicted in killing of a political rival in Bangladesh 
rift has further increased between Nepal's Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehel and the Nepali Congress as the opposition party continues its protest against his government. While the Premier warned the Nepali Congress of dire consequences for trying to disrupt the proceedings, the opposition has labelled the Monday's proceedings as undemocratic and authoritarian. The Nepali Congress said a new negative precedent was set on Monday, where the Prime Minister and Speaker went ahead with vote of confidence, despite protest as they stood in the well, raising their demands. The progressive constitution which we have adopted is being disowned by the members of the ruling alliance. They are on the way to weaken the constitution, Prakash Sharan Mehet, spokesperson of Nepali Congress, said following the parliament proceeding. The opposition also raised concern about the conduct of the speaker and said he worked like a loyal party worker. The Nepali Congress has been protesting against the government since the start of the budget session and has said it will harden its position and will also unite other opposition parties against the government. <laughs> जबरजस्ती यो यो संसद को इतिहास में पहले पनी विश्वास को मत विपक्षी दल और वेल में आए को अवस्था में संसद में अपना पुरार रखे रह विरोध कर रहे को अवस्था में पहले पनी विश्वास को मत दिए को अवस्था छाई जिस कारण यो संसद के इतिहास में यो अनोखो नजीर वाले से स्थापित करने वाले कुछ र यो संविधान जो लामो संघर्ष पति नेपाली जनता ले आमी अरुले लिया क्या सो संविधान स्थापित करे क्या सो देश को खिलाफ में स्वयं ये गठबंधन का दौलत रुचि लागे क्या सो रो ये लाइक कमजोर करने प्रक्रिया में वहाँ वहाँ रुस्वाय की वही रण वाको सो रो यो साकारी प्रकरण माता that's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.